Welcome back. We're at the bottom of the hour. We're monitoring what the president will say tonight when he addresses a nation from the Oval Office at 9 p.m. Let's get you updated on this big fight over the FISA reform bill. House Freedom Caucus, they don't like it. They say it does not go far enough to stop the FBI from again abusing the FISA court to spy on an opposition campaign. Look who's here. One of our favorite guests, former Whitewater Independent Counsel Robert Ray, was on the president's impeachment team. Great to have you, Robert. Nice to be with you. What do you think of that fight? I think that the legislation takes positive steps forward. You can always say, well, it's not enough. The attorney general supports it. My understanding is that the inspector general, Michael Horowitz, was also involved. I think the question to ask, and the one I'm sure the president will ask, and I would imagine various senators will ask, does it advance the president's goal, which is that this should never happen to another president again? Do and, you think it does? And I think, you know, I, I think it's hard to know that. You're not going to know until, obviously, legislation goes into effect. Obviously, we're all in the game of sort of predicting, are there significant enough steps? I think it's subject to... And penalties. To, and penalties. Yeah. But I think things like, if it involves a presidential campaign, it would require the personal approval of the Attorney General of the United States in order to proceed down yeah, this path. If, to your, that's interesting that you brought that up, because the House Freedom Caucus says that simply gives politicians more protection from government spying that should not happen in the first place. And they really want the FBI officials to be charged with crimes and punished. Look at what we're showing that we got out of the DOJ IG report. Look how badly it went. This is what we found. This is how the FBI abused the FISA court by withholding information from the FISA court. Well, there's a litany of so many abuses, it's almost hard to summarize, and you've done that just, you know, there. Um, the question is, it, does the legislation track enough to be able to deal with all of the litany of abuses? I guess my other standard would be that a FISA court needs to be programmed by Congress to act more like a court, which is to say that you need a buffer between the awesome power, law enforcement power of the federal government and those who it's designed to protect, which would be citizens of the United States, like Carter Page. Okay. And if, you, if you're making a judgment on whether about you, you want to support this legislation, I think you have to ask yourself the very tough question, does it do enough to protect civil liberties of Americans? He, we're going to get to that in a second. So if we treat it like a regular court, which means charge those who misled the court with perjury. Right. Uh, the legislation does have maximum prison sentences from five years to eight years for intentionally lying to the FISA court. We know the DOJ watchdog found 17 significant ways the FBI misled it. The FBI attorney Kevin Kleinsmith doctored evidence there. But that's, it, I don't think it grandfathers in those, those, those no, issues, it wouldn't, right? Because it that, would, would, that would have an ex post facto problem. But, but the question is, is the, is the appropriate signal being sent by Congress that we're serious and that the court needs to do a more effective job with the tools that Congress provides to ensure that the Bill of Rights are respected, again, in the distance between surveillance that's, that's necessary in order to protect the country, but also the rights of Americans that are impacted as a result of those awesome in powers terms of the government. Of, in terms of foreign government meddling. Correct. But, you know, what happened here was the FBI was spying on the Trump administration, not just the campaign, right? So they right. had informants. So let's get to, your, to what you're talking about with civil liberties. The, both Democrats and Republicans say, you know, they, they still have issues, privacy issues with this. Uh, let's, uh, I think we've got a, a scroll about what Senator Ron Wyden says, that he's worried about that Americans can still have their geolocations, their GPS location via cell phones tracked by the government, and they can still do, you know, Internet search histories on you without a warrant. I think that the FISA court, again, raises the question, where are those legitimate needs with regard to protecting the country? And, you know, the alternative to this, let's just to put it, cut to the chase. The alternative is simply to do away with the FISA process completely and stick it back within Article Three courts under the judiciary and have it just to be, you know, like any other application that you'd have to make for a search warrant or any other form of electronic surveillance uh, against citizens of the United States. You know, we've made the judgment that there are certain instances with regard to protecting the country and particularly involvement by overseas actors where if it indirectly impinges on rights of the citizens of the United States, that may be a price that has to be paid. The question is, how big of a price and 
and how much monitoring is there actually going to be by this special court to ensure that abuses are uh, prevented and addressed when they happen. And the experience has been that they were not up to the task and that it was not sufficient to protect Americans. When you found out the depth of what the FBI did with the Trump campaign, yes, we understand Russian meddling, you got to stop it. I was amazed at but how far off the track we got way off the track. And the question is legitimate one, and again, I'm not sure I know the answer to this, is that does the legislation go far enough in order to ensure that getting that far off the track cannot happen again? Yeah, we don't want to be East Germany. Robert Ray, no, you're, thanks. you're great. Come back soon. Great analysis, again, from Robert Ray.